In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration by acknowledging our sins and asking God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped, Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts be ever merry. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. For dominion is the Lord's, and he rules the nations. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. 
To him my soul shall live, my descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen, and I'm on my way to evaluate them. I ask you, consider me excuse. And another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and report, reported this to his master. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servants reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, Go out to the highways and hedgerows and make people come in that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were, who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I'm sure, my dear brothers and sisters, many of you, many of us have, have experienced rejection in our lives. We have been said no to many times. It may be a request for a leave. It may be a request for increase of salary. It may be a request for something material or something more spiritual. And we have been said no to. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Hindi kayo nag -iisa. Because God has also experienced being rejected. If you read the books of the Old Testament, there are so many stories of God being rejected by His people. In spite of what the, the Lord has done to them, in spite of the many blessings God has given to His chosen people, many times the chosen people has, have said no. To God. And even if God became man through Jesus, even Jesus had experienced rejection. Hindi pa nga siya ipinanganganak eh. Tinanggihan na siya. Remember the story of the Christmas, uh, the first Christmas story when there was no room in the inn? Walang tumanggap? 
sapagkat puno. Kaya sila napunta sa isang simpleng kweba. And even in the crucifix, in, 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 in the, on the cross, the Lord experienced being rejected by His own people. If you are the Son of God, no, get down, come down. And that was also an experience of rejection. My dear brothers and sisters, there is nothing wrong with rejection. The word rejection can also mean positive things. Like for example, you reject evil. You are invited to go to a, to a beer house and you said no. You were invited to commit adultery or stealing and you said no. So, wala namang problema na magkaroon ng rejection. Liwanagin lang natin kung sino ang ating tinatanggihan. Wala namang problema ang tumanggi. Hindi lahat naman ng nag-aanyaya sa atin ay dapat nating samahan. Pero ang maliwanag lang sana ay sino ba yung ating tinatanggihan. Sa Ebanghelyo, sa simula ng Ebanghelyo, sabi nung isang tao, Blessed is the man who will dine in the kingdom of God. Pinagpala yung kakain sa kaharian ng Diyos. Pero ang sabi ni Jesus doon sa sumunod na parabola, Well, be careful. Hindi lahat ng inanyayahan umoo-o. Pero sa bandang huli, may warning. Sabi ng Panginoon, I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. Ayaw nila? Okay lang. Sorry na lang sila. And that is my point. You can reject sin. You can reject evil. But you cannot reject God. Because when we reject God, we are the losers. If we reject evil, we become winners with God. But if we reject God, we end up losers. Kaya, uulitin ko, hindi naman masamang tumanggi. Dapat lang maliwanag sino ba ang ating tinatanggihan. Amen. Please stand. In faith, we now make our petitions to the Father, whose concern is that all people accept His invitation to the banquet of eternal life. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may flourish and draw more to the feast of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the call to the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be found worthy to come to the banquet of the Lamb of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That through our acts of kindness, we may bring joy and hope to the sick and the less able. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead may live in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. God, our Father, you call us to share in your bounty. May we avail of the opportunities of grace that come along our way 
and respond to them with willing hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is tru truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, in the highest, please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, with faith in the risen Lord, let us commend to him the souls of our dearly departed. They have passed from death to life. May the Lord in his love and mercy welcome them into his kingdom. Holy Lord, almighty and eternal God, hear our prayers for your servants whom you have summoned out of this world. Forgive their sins and failings and grant them a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Let them pass unharmed through the gates of death to dwell with the blessed in light, as you promised to Abraham and his children forever. Accept them into your safekeeping, and on the great day of judgment, raise them up with all the saints to inherit your eternal kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.